no money, come buy and eat. It's free, it's free, free, free. Freely received, it's freely given, freely received. God's given people back your joy noise. It's your weapon of joy, your joy noise. Time to get your joy noise back. You let somebody else take it, it's time to take it back. Get your joy noise. Get your joy noise. It's not based on circumstances, it's your joy noise. It's your weapon of choice. It's your joy noise. Come on, lift up a joyful shout to the Lord.
Give a shout of something. Paint your face blue. Get your sword of the spirit. Listen, years ago, I was uh, lived in a different place and I was settle soaking my yard, which means to simply put, I had I had to plant grass and the ground was really powdery, so I had to shove a, a, a hose in the ground and pump the, the 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 water table underneath with water so that the ground would drop. And I had a hole about this big and it was probably two feet deep and it was just full of water and my son at the time was probably a year and a half almost two years old and he came outside and, and my little rock star son he was like daddy I help you and I said perfect so he comes over and he grabs the hose and he begins to just work the ground with me and all of a sudden he falls in in this mud hole like up to here and you know and that's awesome boys getting muddy so I pull him out of the out of the water and you know I, I didn't I wasn't afraid I knew what he looked like so I, I hosed him off his mother was inside no just kidding I don't know she was somewhere she didn't care and uh, so then we get back to work. We're, we're just, you know, getting it done with this hose, just filling up this thing with water. He falls in again, but doom. And so I pulled him out, no big deal, sit him down, hose him off, we're back into work. And a couple minutes later, we're still working, and all of a sudden, he falls in head first. And all, you know, things happen so fast, and his little feet were up above the water, just kicking. And I could hear the silent screams of my son saying, Daddy, under the water. And I grabbed him really fast, pulled him out of the water, and he was freaked out. I hosed him off and I grabbed his face and I pulled it in close to mine and I say, you're fine, look at me, I got you. And all of a sudden he caught my eyes and when he saw that I was fine, he was fine. I knew what my son looked like the whole time. I was never freaked out by the mud that was on him. Hosed him off. We got right back to work. Listen, I will preach tonight. Some of you guys here, you have fallen in the mud hole, and you keep falling in the mud hole because you think the mud's more powerful than the blood. But I got news for you. Good news for you. We've been watching the baptisms happen over here, watching people die to the old life that gets them in the mud in the first place, get resurrected with a saint nature on the inside. Maybe you're in this room and you've been hearing these songs and you're thinking, man, I feel miles away from God, but that's a lie because the truth is God is closer than your skin. Jesus is the answer to, to the mud. The reason why when we're separated, when we're, when we're away from the Lord in our relationship, or we walked away, the reason why we think about the sin, the wrong thing, the mud, is because it's what's it's what's on us, but the Holy Spirit is the convictor of sin. And he doesn't do that to shame you. He does that to point you to their only solution on the planet available to get free from it, the name of Jesus. Jesus came and died in your place so you could be completely set free of all your past, all the consequences of your sin and all the shame that came with it. It's the best news on the planet. It's called the gospel, the good news of Jesus. So if you're in this room here tonight, I just really felt like God's gonna break addictions from methamphetamines. He's gonna break addictions from, from pornography. He's gonna break addictions because he didn't come to shame you. He died in your place to set you free. So if you're in this place tonight, you know you need freedom. You know you need, you need salvation. You know you need to be washed from the mud in the blood. I want you to do right this thing right now. It's gonna, take, it's gonna take courage. It's gonna take boldness to say, I want that. I'm, I'm willing to lose my life so I can find my life. I want to be born again. Born again. So if you're in this place and you say, yeah, that's, that's you. I want you to slip your hand up and just take courage. Just say, yeah, I'm going to sell out. I want, I want that. I want that for myself. Come on. See your hand right there. Right there. Come on. Come on. Hands all over. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here's what I want you to do. This is going to be a glorious, joyful celebration. Right here, I want you guys to just sit back a little bit and if you raise your hand, just charge forward and step out of the old identity. The old guy died 2,000 years ago and step into the new life in Christ. 
God's Word says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things pass away, behold, all things become new. If you raise your hand, just go ahead and step out of your chair and just come on up here as an act of faith to say, God, I'm yours. God, I'm yours. God, I'm yours. Come on, come on, come on, come on.